back with, with my big brother here, Hall of Famer, never personal, it's always been for me. Saturday night, live from Madison Square Garden, Lamachenko faces Pedraza, who come off a nice win against Beltran. It's going to be a good fight. Top ranked, doing big things, got a big schedule of uh, 2019. I just spoke with Lee Samuels and, uh, and, and the matchmaker Brad Goodman. They all to be here for this one. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Lamachenko, great fighter. I just, I just talked with Agus. He's a good fighter. Great fighter. And, and the eyes of the bull is here, defending his title. Second title defense. He won the title April 28th in Philadelphia. But one thing I want to say about Lamachenko, greatness is in the making. He's a great fighter. But greatness is in the making. And I think, and I told Robert Garcia, I got much love to Mikey's older brother. He can't beat Lamachenko. Lamachenko moved too much. Earl Spence is too big for him. But, 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 but it's a political move with them fighting um, Earl Spence, in my, in my opinion. My years with all the great champions and near greats, that they're going to get the payday. Come back down and take whatever I am give them to fight number 10 Because the boxing world want to see that fight. But he has the right to move up. All the light heavyweight champs of the world moved up. So why not he move up? And, and, and take a shot at the 47 pound title. But I think Earl going to be too big for me now to fight, now to fight. When I told, was told the date, Earl about 68, 70, and now to the fight. And, and the more Mikey Garcia is going to be about 50 and 53. So, so which is a bad fight on paper, but going to the bank, it's a good fight. It ain't personal, bro. It's business. So, but he needs, as I said to you before, he needs a major fight. My brother out of Nebraska, Tans Crawford, and, and Lomas, I told him. Y'all need a major fight to get over the hump that that star that's, that star that's like Tommy had, Marvin had, Roberta and all that. You need that one nigga fight, lose or win. John McGarvey lost to, to, to Marvin Hagen, but became great had he not lost the title, the second title shot at Dwight Braxton, uh, uh, Dwayne Thompson, and them out there in Chicago, out there in Detroit. He's been, he, he's been one to talk about today. See, when, that, when, the, when the moment comes, you see the opportunity. And Lamontenko's taking on everybody. And I told him he greatness. At first, he couldn't sell fly. But now, you see, he on his own car, and he ain't got the Irish boy there with him to, to, to help pack the house. He don't need the Irish boy now. From Who's the, the Irish boy? Uh, uh, um, Michael Conner, he ain't <laughs> on this car. Okay. Michael Conner ain't even on this car. So before, now, if, if, if Lamontenko defend his title in March, uh, uh, Michael Connor be on the card because of the because uh, uh, of, the, of the Irish month. So when you look at the Earl Spence fight, you look at the top guys out there: Namachenko, Earl Spence, Mikey Garcia. Wilder got exposed the other night. And, oh, we gonna get we gonna get to that. <laughs> and, 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 and I really don't want to touch on Wilder. There's a lot of things going on, controversy, and I want to be a part of that crazy shit. Frankie Juan, tell me he don't want to do anything. This is all this crazy. But getting back to Lamachin, greatness in the making. He's going to be one of the great, he's going to go down in history as one of the great light, lightweight fighter, fighters of all time. I mean, and when I say that, greatness is in the making with this guy. He moves, he fights. He reminds me of the guys back in the day. Bobcat Montgomery out of Philadelphia. Uh, 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 Ken Buchanan. You, I even throw him, throw him in there uh, with the guy of uh, 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 Terrence Ali. Those guys that fought. See the difference with these guys, Mikey and them guys. Lamachenko is going to fight to the death. He ain't going to do all that waiting on, waiting on no judges. Either you get him out there or, he, or you get you, he get you out there. And he get out of there, he come back and see you another day. See you another day. Do you, see, do you see any flaws in Lomachenko? The only flaws I see in Lamachenko is that he
he has to start. Come on. Come on on. Don't wait. Come on. He a fighter right here? No, I don't know him. He is, but I don't know. But it ain't personal with them guys. They have to get it done. And that's one blows I see. It starts a little slow. But when Lemon Chico get to going, oh he going. And and that's why I say that a dead a dead a, a dead Mikey Garcia can't be him. Because Mikey Garcia knows this. And the same thing I say about Earl Smith. He cannot be Tans Cook. The movement is. Guys that move, they have problems. Guys that come at them, oh, they can go to work. They're gonna go to work, man. It, it ain't person with these guys, they're trying to get it done. Now people people ain't giving Woody the World Monroe Junior a shot. But we know, man, anything can get happen. Mm. Marvin Stalin got hit behind the bell. He got hit at the bell. John Tate took him 15 rounds to knock out Big John Tate, Mike Weaver. Let me ask you a question about John Tate because I just finished watching a movie called Heart Baby. And the story goes that John Tate, you know, had a little exhibition match with a guy by the name of George Martin in a, in a penitentiary. And I was, and in the movie, I'm hitting, you know, true story that John Tate got knocked out in the first round. John Tate, I don't know nothing about it. I know he lost his title to Mike Weaver mm. uh, on March 31st, 1980, on a top ranked show in Nashville, Tennessee. That's the same night that Eddie Mustafa Muhammad stopped Marvin Johnson 38 years ago. See, these guys talk this shit, but they don't know it. And they seen it, but they, they went around in the mix of it. They know you got to be in the mix behind the gold door, making the deal to make the fight happen. Okay. I learned a lot from my man, Don King, only in America. I learned a lot from Bob Am. Because I was there in this office with Butch Lewis. Definitely, Butch Lewis was my guy. Let me ask you this. Do you see any flaws in Lomachenko? Right now, I, I personally, knowing boxing and knowing the history of fighters, I don't see no flaws. Do you think anybody right now can defeat Lomachenko between 135 and 140? No. No? I'd rather see him and Tank Davis than him and Mackie Garcia. Okay, why is that? Because I know Tank old country motherfucker out of, out of Maryland, Baltimore, <laughs> and he gonna bring the pressure mm. as long as he lands. See, the problem is I wish that he could make 40. He would give Limo a, he would bring out the best in my team. Okay. Not Tank. I, I wish, I wish what to call him to make 40, the country of Ohio, uh, uh, Sean Porter. Cause Sean Porter is a thote. Mm. And I keep telling me, you really like Sean Porter. And he's a pressure guy. Mm -hmm. and, and see, I ain't with this judges. The old time, you know, you coming up uptown there, uh, uptown in, in the regular, up there in the church, up there in the Holland, and them guys fought to the death. There ain't no judges. Either you going to the hospital or the funeral home, or I'm going to the hospital funeral home. We're going to get it on. We're going to scrap. If we can't do it here, we're going to get them things. So that's the kind of fight I like. I ain't with that judges stuff. That boy nigga say, hello, champ. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to get Floyd, none of them. But he, he was nothing like his own. Roger, you seen Roger Tate. Roger went bell to bell, toe to toe. Either you going to the hospital for your home or I'm going. So let me ask you this. Out of all the greats that you've seen, that you know, how does Lomachenko match up between 130 and 135 with all of them? Lomachenko match up with all. I gave him a shot. I gave him a shot. And everybody at 35 of the late 70s and the, in the 80s, it's, except Tommy Hermans. Mm. Because Tommy was too tall. Gotcha. Now, he, if Ray Leonard would have beat him, it would have been real late. And he didn't move too much, and Duran would have said no mas. What about Aaron Pryor? Aaron Pryor, he would have beat Aaron Pryor after the, the two fights with, with, with Alexis. Okay, after? Uh, after the two fights with Alexis, he beat Aaron Pryor. Okay. And the only somebody I think would have gave him a, a run for his money in the deep waters would have been Boom Boom Mancini. Why I say Boom Boom Mancini? He's a guinea, he fighting on balls and pure hard. And he would have been so much pressure on Lamb and Tinko, could he would take that attacking pressure? I don't know, I don't, we don't know yet. 
That's a, and, 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 and I want to protect myself when you ask about his flaws. I haven't seen him with a, with a real pressure fighter that throws the kind of pressure and hits the vision like Sean Porter would give him at 40 or 35 to Sean Porter would never give him. Because Sean Porter is a hell of a pressure fighter. Don't have the greatest skills in the world. But he said, if I stay here all night, I might catch it. If I stay here all night long, before that last and final bell, I might just catch it. And I'm on, on my way. So, 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 the hardest guys they got, even, even though that guy he had top man night one, I still ain't sold on him because he be the 41 year old man mm. and the old man in the hospital. I, I still ain't sold on him. Wait, wait, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? So, a lot of these guys out there, I ain't sold on. But I'm, but I'm so, I mean, you know a lot of people ducking Sean Porter. And people say, and you know, I don't, I hug Sean and his father, but you know, I ain't on the band, man. I was in this business before they was born. Mm. See, guys don't understand. Lemma Chico, he's like Kasi Ruma, but sharper and more smarter. Throw a lot of punches, bro. You can't get away from all of them. Got a guy throwing that many punches around, you can't get away from him. 